Hey guys, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rao, your online instructor. This is another session of Office 365. And in this class, I am going to give you the complete information about uh, uh, Azure AD Connect. As we discussed in our previous session, how we can manage, how we can synchronize our on-premises AD user to Office 365 portal. But we also need to know about the basic components which is available in AD Connect. Right. So let me explain you about the topics that we completed in the last session. So in our last session, we created a one domain machine on on-premises using our VMA workstation. Uh, this is our domain that we created with name of training.com. I think I'm just going to open it and show you the uh, number of users that I created. The Active Directory that we installed on Server 2016. So this is our Server 2016, which is available in VMA Workstation, Open Active Directory User and Computers. And I think we created two or three different users for the testing purpose, right? Uh, yes, we are on page of uh, uh, Active Directory User and Computers. We are able to find AWS, Azure, right? Two different users are available on on-premises. I'm just going to check uh, our Office 365 portal. So guys, this is our Office 365 portal and Azure uh, Active Directory panel. We are able to find two different users are successfully connected with the AWS, uh, Azure portal. This is AWS Active Directory Synchronize class Active Directory Synchronize, right? On premises, this is our computer information, right? So let me verify the dis uh, system name. It's a win Q D A something. Let me check the same system name which is uh, that we installed on on-premises, right? Only for the verification because we have already completed the task. So R is under to understand about the another option, means another features which is available in AD. Win, Q, Z, D, A, something like we uh, uh, make sure we are able to uh, synchronize this particular machine to uh, Azure Active Directory panel. Now, today's agenda, we will discuss about the core component of Azure AD synchronization, basically the core component of Azure AD Connect services, right? So let's talk about, as we know that, uh, why we need to configure Azure AD Connect. So we have already discussed, but we just need to check few things related to the Azure AD synchronization. For example, this is our O365 portal, our Azure portal, and this one is our on-premises domain, like as that we established in uh, maybe server 2016, right? We establish our domain controller in server in 2016 with name of training.com. Training.com is our domain name and uh, we have already created multiple users like as uh, with name of AWS and another. So we are able to synchronize. We successfully synchronize our on-premises users like as uh, AWS or uh, class. We already synchronize these user to Office 365 portal. But if we talk about the other components which is required, means if you want to be an expert in Office 365, you should know about the another features which is available in our Azure AD Connect service. So let me explain you about the number of uh, features that we need to know. Let's start from very basic like as uh, the first and important part. Um, we need to know about the use of password has synchronization right we need to know about the usage of password has synchronization second we need to know about password write back actually i'm facing some issue with my writing pad mm, give me one minute please Okay, let me check it again. Same issue. Password has synchronization, right? Second, we need to know about the password write back.
password has synchronization right second we'll discuss about uh, password write back we also need to know about the custom upn suffix means why we need to use the custom upn suffix we should know about it then we'll move ourselves to how to add how to synchronize custom user you can say that how we can synchronize our custom user for example on on premises you created multiple user account like as up to 10 different user account you created on on premises how you can synchronize only five different users i don't want to synchronize entire 10 so we should know about the custom user synchronization right we'll discuss about the usage of sso so these all are the points that we need to know in case of our uh, you can say that in case of azure active IT services it's really important for us because uh, we are responsible to manage the other uh, products which is available on azure portal not of azure office 365 portal so we should know about the usage of these options right so i'm just going to define you the usage of password has password write back about the custom upn suffix and how to synchronize our custom domain custom users and we'll discuss about the usage of sso okay fine so let's start from uh, password has synchronization so very simple step like as this is our azure portal right and over azure portal we know that we have a uh, not Azure portal, this is the panel of Azure AD, which is a part of our Office 365. This is our on-premises domain, right? On-premises domain, like as a training.com that we have already created. And uh, we also created two different users, maybe more than two users, with password. You know that it's mandatory, you must need to configure at least one password to your Azure Active Directory, to your on-premises AD user. The use of password hash synchronization, whenever you synchronize your Active Directory user from on-premises AD to Azure Active Directory, you know that with your user, your password is also synchronized. Is it correct? Because we will use the same user to log in our Office 365, the password that you configure on on-premises. So the responsibility of synchronizing your password from on-premises AD to Azure Active Directory, which is managed by the password has synchronization right so with the help of password has synchronization we are able to synchronize our on-premises ad user password to azure active directory this is the use of password has think about the password write back the work of password write back means for example you successfully uh, synchronize your on-premises ad user and password to azure active directory now you are planning to change the password from azure portal right so whenever you change the password from azure uh, azure ready Right. So what you need to do in this case, uh, password write back service, password write back service can synchronize your password to your on premises. Means you can say that it works just opposite. It is responsible to uh, it, it. It's just uh, it can perform the work just opposite of your password hash synchronization. Right. So you can say that in single word password has responsible to synchronize your on premises AD user to Azure Active Directory and password write back responsible to synchronize your user's password from Azure AD to on-premises AD. This is the actual usage. Third step, we need to know about the procedure custom UPN suffix, why it is important, why we need to configure it manually. So for example, you establish your domain on-premises on with the name of maybe class.com, right? The domain name that you configure with name of class.com, right? And unfortunately, you purchase a domain over a Azure portal, means with the help of GoDaddy.com. You purchase a different domain, for example, with name of XYZ.com. So both are different to each other. This is our public domain and class.com that you configured in our on-premises AD. So it's really difficult because you know that whenever you synchronize your active active user, it become a part of on Microsoft.com, right? If you want to change your user ID, if you want to synchronize your user associated with class.com, associated with xyz.com, right? So what you need to do, you need to purchase a domain from godary.com and uh, then configure custom UPN suffix. How we can do that? Open your server, right? And go to the tools, select active active user uh, domain and trust, 
and under the active directory domain trust we just need to right click here go to the properties this is the panel consider as a alternate alternative upn suffix so our domain that we created that we purchased from godaddy.com with name of uh, upn suffix so what we need to do we just need to uh, type the name of your user uh, type the name of your domain and click add right apply and okay then again back to the tools go to the users account that you have already create, created and the entire users you know that are associated with the, uh, your existing domain name i think training.com so just need to open your user account go to the account option i don't want to associate with training.com because we purchase a, a domain with name of xyz.com just need to click here and change the upn user principal name apply and okay and then resynchronize resynchronize in the sense like uh, just need to um, execute the command of delta sync or you can also proceed for manual synchronization with the help of gui and you will be get the same user with associated your xyz.com so this is the practical that you need to perform right because i hope you understand about the concept okay cool let's talk about the another option custom users uh, um, synchronization and sso so these two important practical that i want to define with the practical way because uh, we need to follow lots of step so do one thing in next session i'll give you the complete information about the practical of each and everything right the meaning of custom user synchronization like you created a 10 different user but you don't want to synchronize entire 10 you want to synchronize only five different users then custom user come into the picture custom user synchronization come to come into the picture right NSSO, single sign-in on, for example, you don't want to use a user ID and password for every application. With the help of single username and password, you want to control multiple applications, you want to control your uh, workstation, your mail services, your uh, uh, Microsoft uh, product. So, with the help of SSO, we can do that. I'll give you the complete practical of SSO and custom user synchronization. But for now, uh, I think we good with practical uh, theoretical part. We'll connect soon and discuss about the more related to the as directed acting please do subscribe your teach me cloud channel guys take care bye bye